We'd like you to stay here with us in our guest house. And we'd like you to take some time off of work. We'll pay you whatever you were making. Well, get your car so you don't feel trapped. You can come and go as you please. Are you serious? Yes, we talk about it. And we just feel more comfortable knowing that you're here, at least most of the time. And knowing that you're safe. Now, you are doing this incredible thing for us. It's the least we can do. Our, our couple are in trouble because they, they can't have their own baby, and so they have to trust the surrogate. And uh, it, it's interesting because everyone that does this, and it's being done more so, I think, now than it ever has been, has to do that, has to find a stranger and, uh, and trust them. And uh, there are real cases of it not working out very well. Uh, what seems like you have the perfect surrogate starts to go wrong. And, uh, and it's, it's kind of based on those kind of stories. Uh, there's, there's lots of research done, there's, there's lots of interviews done, they really make an effort to find the perfect person, but it doesn't always work out that way. Let us do something nice for you, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Jazz just has this amazing ability to, to just change herself. She, she really is, you know, she's just chameleon. She just completely changes. And, and again, you know, you shoot a movie completely out of order. So she's sweet in the morning and has to be deadly Anna in the evening. And she's able just to virtually turn it on and off like a switch. I don't even know how she's doing it. This is a restraining order. It's already happened. This is a case for domestic abuse battery and child endangerment. This is a letter to the DA, who's a friend of mine, mm. recommending no less than seven criminal counts. These haven't been filed yet. So what's gonna happen now is this. Morris just has, you know, he's, he's just such a great actor and he has so many, so many shades of gray uh, that is perfect for this character because he takes such a journey, there's such an arc, uh, and, and Morris is just able to sort of hit on all those, all the marks that you need to tell this story. You're gonna stay away from Anna. We're never gonna see you again. She's never gonna see you again. In 10 days, you're gonna be shipped off to the Middle East, and when you return, your money's gonna be waiting for you. But if you ever come near Anna again, I'm gonna bust your head open. Then I'm gonna make sure your punk ass is sent somewhere that's gonna make the Middle East look like Club Med. I want a good story, I want good characters, uh, I want to like the characters, I want to hate the characters, I want that whole range of emotion. And uh, I think that the, the When the Bow Breaks has that. Uh, and then I want some twists, I want some thrills, I, I want to be uh, excited, uh, I want to be scared at, at times, and, uh, and eventually I want to root for the good guy and, and be happy that they win. <laughs>